Gemi Bell was a driving force in rotary rock. She truly invented the genre with her rendition of Ode to Joy on a 1996 trim line. By the age of 17, she had evolved. She truly moved on to some more ambitious experimental music with covers of Smash Mouth and Bowling for Soup. Unfortunately, with the advent of digital phones, the genre took a big hit, especially since Gammy was the only artist in it. In 2007, a young fan approached her to sign their iPhone, which set Gabby on an outdated and at times racist tirade. Truly, hanging up the phone on the golden years for Rhoda Rock. Only days later, she pulled the plug on her career, selling out and becoming a classically trained ringtone composer like the dozens of others before her. But today, Rotary Rock is making a comeback in certain communities in the lamer sections of Bushwick. Yeah, you know, I've been a fan of Gammy Bell for a really long time. I mean, well before everybody else in Bushwick started following her. I mean, uh, honestly, I was the first person in our neighborhood to get a landline again. I prefer a landline to a cellular phone because the landline has higher fidelity. Gammy was a, a revolutionary artist. And I find that her, her music uh, changed the world for good and sometimes for worse. But when she changed it for the worse, it was for the better. Yeah, well, I mean, I really got into Gammy Bell once my uh, parents cut me off the family phone plan. Need to switch it up, you know, into a landline. And I just uh, never went back, you know. From there, I got into really some of her like heavier, cooler shit. Really specifically with the dial tone of resistance. You know, I really relate to that with the struggle I was having with my parents, you know. The music is just amazing. It's, it's just way more lo-fi. It's, it's just phenomenal. I actually like, didn't realize that was even Gammy Bell. Uh, I thought she was the lead singer of uh, Sixpence None the Richer. But turns out it wasn't. And then uh, later on, I actually got into her music because I was kind of wondering what she strangled me with. I really love her music, and I have all of her albums. Aren't you Gammy Bell? Upon a review of the footage, it was determined that this was Gammy. We identified her by her awkward run. <laughs> Gammy's now working on a new album titled Rooftop Rotary. She recently purchased GarageBand and is using nothing but phone tones in the program. Gammy thinks that this is going to give her a new lease on her career. Time will tell.